I don't know what's going on, but it seems like freckles are a beauty trend right now. Pretty cool if you ask me. I'm gonna show you how to add them to your portrait in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's free episode, we're gonna show you how to add freckles to any portrait in Photoshop. This is gonna be really cool because you can do this to any image and all you need to do is create a custom Photoshop brush. And if you've never done that, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And you can also download the brushes that we're gonna make in this episode on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. So without any further ado, let's get into our tutorial. So we're gonna start off by creating a new layer and painting a freckle on our subject. Now we're gonna put a white background behind this and make sure the freckle is black. And then we just go to edit and down to define custom brush. Now this is gonna define the shape of the brush, which is super cool. Then we're gonna go into our brush menu and turn on all kinds of cool options that let us scatter it and rotate it and basically make it look like it's not done in Photoshop. And when we have have this brush set up, then we can go ahead and use it to create our freckles. And this part is super easy. Just make a curves adjustment layer, make it a little bit darker, invert the layer, and then paint white on the layer mask with your cool new freckle brushes. We're gonna create a couple of them, and you're gonna create freckles on any portrait. So let's jump into Photoshop and show you guys how to actually get this done. So here's our image for today. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, and we're gonna start off by creating a new layer. And we're gonna just use a small, like regular round little brush. And you wanna make these about the size of a freckle. So we're gonna start off by creating one little freckle. So kind of the key here is I'm just kind of like painting around in a kind of little blotchy period. You wanna use a low flow for this. There we go, that looks pretty good. You wanna use a low flow that's gonna kind of allow you to build up your effect. Okay, so that's gonna be one of our freckles. Now we're gonna do this a couple of times, but basically I got that little shape there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make this into a custom brush, which is real cool. So easy to do, just grab your marquee tool here, go to your rectangular marquee, and then to hold shift, so you're gonna make a square. You're just gonna make a square selection just like that. And then go ahead and create a layer under. So you, you can see we have our background layer, we got our freckle layer here. Just create a new layer under that, okay? And go to edit and down to fill. And then you wanna choose white as your color there. Okay, so you can see what we have now is a little black freckle here with a white background, and that's all you need. Now keep your selection active here. We're gonna go to edit and down to define brush preset. Okay, and we're just gonna call this one, freckle one. How fun is that? Pretty easy. Now let's go ahead and make that invisible. We'll do, just do, in the same deal, we're gonna just choose a regular soft round brush again. Okay, there we go. Let's just make it nice and small. And we're just gonna make a slightly different shape here, okay? This is gonna be our freckle two. There we go, freckle, oh, you know what? I'm gonna erase this little bit there. All right, freckle two, you're getting out of control here. Just allow me to erase, please, Photoshop. Just do your job. Okay, let's erase that little bit. And look at that, we're ready for freckle two. Okay. So same deal, we're gonna go to edit, down to define brush preset, and we're just gonna call this freckle two. Okay, and now for our third freckle, check it out. We're gonna make this one just a little bit bigger, a little bit more blotchy. Um, this is gonna be like a larger cover area. Okay, just a bit of blotch, and I'm just like painting around. Again, use a low flow that's gonna help you out here. So you can see that's just a little bit of a blotch going on there and we're gonna go to edit and define brush preset. There we go, and we're gonna call this freckle three. So we just created a couple of freckle brushes. Now we define just that little shape as the shape of the brush. Now, if you don't go and put all the cool settings on there, you're just gonna be putting that same brush, like that same exact shape over and over again. So that's why we're gonna go into our brush settings. We're gonna tweak all these really cool settings. It's gonna randomize, it's gonna scatter it, it's gonna rotate these things, and it's basically gonna look like they're done totally randomly, which would be the case for actual freckles. So let's go ahead and deselect. Now we don't need these layers anymore. Let's just go ahead and make those invisible for now. And I'm gonna hit B for my brush tool. Okay, we're gonna do this on a brand new layer. So let's hit B for the brush tool. Now we're gonna right click. And if you can see, if I go all the way down to the very end, check that out. I'm gonna hover over there and we see we have freckle one, freckle two, and freckle three. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and click on freckle one. And I'm gonna start off with just painting with white. 
just so you can kind of see what we're doing. So if I just like click here, okay, click once, you're gonna see it just looks like that little shape over and over and over again, right? If I click and drag, it just looks like this. So I need to erase this. Let's just erase this away real quick. There we go, boom. And let's go into our custom brush settings. So I'm gonna go to window and down to brush, and here's where all the cool stuff happens. So here in our brush tip shape, the first thing we're gonna do is increase our spacing. It's gonna space these guys out. So you can see, look, they're just spaced out a little bit more. Okay, next we're gonna click on shape dynamics, and I'm gonna turn my size jitter all the way up. Okay, and that's gonna make some of these larger and some of them smaller. Okay. And we want our minimum diameter to be all the way at zero. And we're gonna turn our angle jitter all the way up too. And this is just gonna kind of rotate them around. So when I paint around now, you can see we're definitely looking more and more random. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next thing we wanna do is turn on scattering. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a good scatter on both axes. Okay, so if I paint around, look, they're all pretty scattered now. Pretty cool. They're too big, they're too big, but you can make them, it's a regular brush. So you can make it larger and smaller just by using your open and close brackets. Okay, so that looks pretty good now. Now let's go ahead and maybe we'll scatter it a little bit more. And you can always come back in these settings. So don't feel like you're stuck with any of your decisions. If you're like, oh man, I didn't choose too much scattering. You just always come back and change the scattering. I'm gonna give it a little bit more spacing too. Okay, now the next thing that we wanna do, you can see as I paint around, starting to look pretty nice and like random, like little freckles, right? The next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna turn on my transfer here, okay? And our transfer, we're gonna turn our flow jitter now I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet, which is super cool. So if I don't press very hard, it's gonna make like light colored freckles. Let's just get everything gone. So if I don't press really hard, it's gonna make like freckles that really aren't there much. And if I press really hard, okay, you can see they're gonna show up a little bit more. So if you have a pressure sensitive tablet, uh, go ahead and set your control to pen pressure. If you don't have a pressure sensitive tablet, no big deal. Hit, go to off and then turn your flow jitter up and this is just gonna make some of these more visible and some less visible. You just won't be able to control it with your mouse, but you can still, like, if I just grab my mouse, you can still see it. It still makes more of these visible and less visible. And you can turn your opacity jitter up as well, and you're just gonna get in. The idea here is to create randomness, right? You want, you want randomness. And there we go, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna start off with these settings. I'm gonna just bring this back, and everything looks good. So what we're, Basically, we just plugged in a lot of randomness and I've been painting with white this whole time. Obviously, freckles aren't white. So we're gonna make a curves adjustment layer, which is gonna bring down the brightness and then we'll paint this on the layer mask and see how the freckles look. Let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer and over to curves. There we go. And we're just gonna click here and drag this down a little bit, making everything darker. Now on my layer mask, I'm gonna hit Control or Command I to invert that layer mask. So we get, just have a curves adjustment layer with a black layer mask. And you know what, I'm gonna delete all these other layers. We don't need them. So just a curves adjustment layer with a black layer mask. And then we're just gonna paint with our little brush tool uh, on the skin. And you're gonna see as I go over different areas of the skin, there we go, we have our freckles are starting to show up, which is really cool. Now, as you're doing this, you wanna keep in mind that uh, the sun is basically what causes freckles, right? So if you have, let's bring our flow jitter back down. If you have a lot of, turn the control to pen pressure. There we go, a lot of variation. So the sun's basically what causes pressure there or causes freckles. So you're gonna see more freckles like on the tops of cheeks, on the tops of your nose and things like that, forehead and like the top of your chin and stuff like that, less like underneath your chin. Okay, so just kind of keep, keep that stuff in mind. All right. Now, my next recommendation, as we're going, we're creating these freckles, is you wanna really get them to fade in to the skin. And you can see they're, they're like, yeah, kind of fading in. So I'm gonna hit E for the eraser tool, and you just wanna use a super large, soft, round eraser, okay? So we're talking like big old, you know, soft eraser here. And go ahead and bring your flow down to like 10%. So hit Shift 2 on your eraser tool. And you're gonna see, I'm just gonna use this to kind of erase some of the freckles away in this area. And it's just kind of fading away in different areas. And that's gonna help it look way more realistic. So do this around the eyes and things like this. You know, anywhere where it's like freckles are just too too visible, just go ahead and fade them away. You don't wanna make them like completely gone, just make them fade away a little bit. 
All right, so this is our first round. Now we can take the same brush and check this out. I'm just gonna make it larger now and then we can still do the same thing, just painting white on my layer mask and we have a couple like larger, like little sunspot areas. Maybe make that a little bit smaller. And there we go and kind of painting that in there as well. So these are like a little bit larger sunspot type areas. So you can change your brush size. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click on my layer mask and you can see this is what the layer mask looks like. Pretty cool, right? It's just a bunch of little spots there. All right, let's go ahead and erase a couple of these spots away just a little bit more. Need to fade that in to make it look realistic. And there we go. So that's our first round. And the reason why we made a couple of different brushes to begin with is for even more variation. So that looked really great the first go round. Let's go ahead and adapt our second and third brushes and we're gonna create even more freckles. So now that we've got this first freckle brush and it's all good and we got all of our cool like settings in there, I'm gonna go here and we're gonna go to new brush preset and we're gonna call this freckle and I'm gonna call this final one. Cool, and don't forget you guys can download these. So if you don't wanna make them, no big deal. All right, next our, uh, remember we have our original, this is freckle one. This is our other shape, freckle two. So let's click on that. I'm gonna, we're gonna start with, you know, give it some spacing. We want our size jitter up, our angle jitter turned all the way up. We wanna scatter both axes quite a bit and we wanna turn our transfer on there as well. Okay, let's do the same deal here. We're gonna make a curves adjustment layer, make it a bit darker and then invert that. Okay, and then we're just painting white on this layer. And you can see I went through like the testing phase pretty quick here because I was like already like pretty, you know, pretty like set on what this is actually gonna look like. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring my spacing down just a little bit more and you can kind of get a little preview of what your little freckles are gonna look like there, which is nice. So you can see these are much like smaller like pinpoint type freckles than the other brush, which is cool. So it just gives us another level of detail. Yeah, I like, this is really cool. So this is why we create multiple brushes. All right, and then don't forget, you know, while you're doing this, uh, we're just gonna pop a little bit. We're gonna get some on the shoulder of our subject as well, because this is, uh, sun is what makes freckles, right? So any areas that are in the sun quite a bit, you just wanna add some, some freckles there as well. All right, and we're just gonna erase those away just a little bit. Okay, so we can see, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. So we have our first freckle brush did that, and then our second brush did that. Let's go ahead and do our third brush. All right, so again, we're just going to create, all right. So now I'm just gonna right click again. We're gonna go down to our freckle three that we made. Remember, this is gonna be a little bit more the blotchy one. Let's bring up our size. We're gonna go to shape dynamics here. All right, size jitter, we're gonna turn up. Angle jitter, we're turning that up. Scattering, we're gonna turn that up as well. Texture, we're turning, oh, not texture, transfer. We're gonna turn that on as well. And then we'll just bring the spacing down a little bit. So this is going to be our, like a little bit blotchier. We'll just do one more curves adjustment layer. There we go. And cool, start painting this in. I'm just, again, painting white on my layer mask here. There we go. So we're just getting a little bit blotchier here. Let's go ahead and make our brush a little bit larger there. And I'm gonna bring down our spacing and we're gonna bring down our scattering. So this is one of those things you kind of want to keep in mind, like you, you may want to change these settings like as you're painting. So like if you're doing this, for instance, and see I'm doing this and it's like it's scattering everywhere and I'm like, whoa, that's way too much. Just bring your scatter down, okay? And it's gonna be a little bit more focused on where you actually want it to be. All right, so just some things to kind of keep in mind. This is like an ever changing, ever evolving process. So we're just gonna zoom out a little bit there. So you can see this is a little bit more like a big blotchy type freckle pattern. Let's go ahead and get it in there. And I know it looks bad now, okay? We're gonna just erase it in a second. All right, so let's hit E for the eraser tool. Okay, again, we want a soft round, like a super large soft round brush here. So we're just gonna start erasing this away 
And as we do, you know, do this with a low flow so you can kind of build up that effect and just like, just where it looks bad and kind of like the bottom parts of the surfaces. So it's a nice subtle thing, but it's just gonna add a little bit more color onto your subject. And then this guy, let's go ahead and go back to our original, uh, where we made that freckle final one. There we go. And then I'm gonna paint white on our layer mask here as well, so you can see. And you can just pick and choose. Hey, this is my favorite type of freckle. All right, but I do suggest making a few different freckles, uh, some large and undefined and some small and defined. So let's go ahead and take a look. We've got our original freckles. Okay, then we've got our small, well-defined freckles, and then we've got our large blocky, blotchy freckles there as well. All right, and I think we're looking pretty dang good. And you can go in here, my next suggestion is go ahead and just group all those together, pop a layer mask on them, and then you can just paint white or black on your layer mask. Like if you want a, any additional areas to like hide, like if you wanna remove freckles from any additional areas, you just paint black on the layer mask, see? It's like, oh, I can make half freckles, no, half no freckles. Um, no, I'm just having fun, but you get the idea. Go in here and just define it a little bit more, kind of fade out the freckles around the areas you think they might not show up as much, bottom of the nose, things like that. Anywhere that doesn't look that natural. There we go. And I think we're looking pretty dang good. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after. Here's our before and the after. Okay guys, that's all there is to creating cool freckles on your portraits in Photoshop. We created a couple custom brushes, and if you wanna create your own, that's totally cool, or you can download the ones we made in this tutorial. Just follow the link right down below. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Happy freckling. <laughs> I'll learn you later. Bye everyone. Oh, nothing. Just been freckling all day. What you doing? Yeah, you know, freckling. Photoshop. Custom brush, adding freckles to a portrait. Freckling, it's a thing. Yeah, I'll freck you. I'll freckle you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's cut. Yeah, happy freckling.